African queen, oh oh oh. You need a hero, someone like me, oh. Don't wanna trouble, oh oh. You deserve better than what you got, eh? Hey, taking advantage. That's what your man do. Move on, you can do. If you ain't ready, I wait for you, girl. Long as yeah. it takes, eh? Hey, African queen, oh oh. oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dumi Chiquita and as you can see, we are doing something a little bit different today. We are sitting down and we are going to have a young chat. <laughs> as you can see by the title, I'm doing my first time tag. Finally. Like, guys, I've been meaning to shoot this video for so long but so much is going on yo there's a lot going on um but yeah that's a story for another day i promise to update you guys um but yeah man if you're new here welcome and thank you so much for tuning in do subscribe click that like button and hopefully comment and let me know what you think of this video and if you're not thank you so much for tuning in once again let's get into this video so the first question is the first app you check when you wake up um it'll probably be whatsapp because yeah i'll probably checking if i have an order um from my online butchery or <sighs> it's like loved ones or what or friends um but yeah it will probably be like whatsapp and then i'll check like twitter and instagram just to like browse before i actually wake up <laughs> but yeah it'll probably be whatsapp second question is first broken bone first broken bone i actually don't think i've ever broken any bones before i've had like fractured bones like i fractured my ankle during like sport i used to play a whole lot of netball so um <clears throat> fractured an ankle and you know when you fall and you have like those weird pains for like weeks like i had something in my arm but i've never like broken a bone where i have to get like all those wraps and whatnot actually when i was a kid i really wanted to like break a bone i know it's very weird but i wanted to break like my arm or something just so i can have like those what do you call it i mean in course i call it isame and but i know it's not me so yeah those situations um first foreign country you've ever visited um i actually haven't left the country yet um i was planning to leave the country sometime this year um just to have like a, a trip outside the country but because of coronavirus couldn't go anywhere but yeah i haven't had it yet but definitely next year i'm just doing a whole lot of traveling i've always wanted to travel and yeah that's what my vlog is actually about traveling so yeah i just like a whole lot of traveling but i haven't been anywhere i have been around south africa um but yeah not out of the country um first makeup item and when you were allowed to wear it first makeup item was probably like mascara if i remember like if i remember properly we we're never allowed to wear like makeup obviously at our school so you know those days when everybody was like pawns 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 because that was like the end thing so i would have like a whole lot of pawns and a whole lot of mascara and eyeliner so that was my thing in high school like my mom was also pretty like chilled about it so she wasn't like I think as soon as I hit grade 8 she was told about those type of things so I'd say about grade 8, grade 9 that's when I was like mascara nyana, eyeliner but yeah I'd say makeup like a full face of makeup was probably like grade 11 or 12 when yeah grade 11 or 12 first plane ride you've ever been on first plane ride i think it was on my way to cape town um around 2006 or 5 i think i was like in grade 5 or 6 um to go see my mom um if you know i don't know I, I really didn't grow, um, grow up with my mom i grew up with my grandmother and my mom lived in cape town and i lived in eastern cape so basically i went to go see her you know that that's yeah back and forth situation so yeah i basically would say it was that cape town trip around 2005 or like 2006 and i remember actually 
being in the plane and they put this like tag around you that you don't have to like um, take off until you actually get to the other side and it was basically like written unaccompanied minor or something like that so that the airline ladies and whatnot would see that I'm alone they need to take care of me but yeah it was basically to Cape Town and first youtuber you subscribe to um hmm. i think it was alia j actually um that's like my first memory of like youtube and like youtubers um it was alia j and she was doing makeup or she's still doing makeup and um i still watch it till today actually so yeah alia j she's some an american youtuber i'm sure most people know but yeah she was like the first girl that i actually watched and i was like what is this girl doing like what? this seems fun like you're talking to us you're like showing us makeup what is this youtube thing so yeah i think that was the first person um first boyfriend Ooh, first <laughs> guys so okay my first boyfriend ever was this guy and like this is not like okay i had like a first like boyfriend where someone actually asked me hey can you be my girlfriend and this was like in grade four i think this wasn't like grade four it wasn't like anything serious obviously um but this guy had written me like uh you know one of those notes and <laughs> basically had to answer hey will you be my girlfriend yes or no and i was just like yes and then um i remember the next day he bought me <laughs> like lip gloss and like these other like sweet packets that everybody was like crazy about at the time so he bought me that and you know lip gloss at the time you know those lip those like clear lip glosses that were like five rand at the time so he bought me those yo everybody went crazy i remember the bought <laughs> people were like oh my god they bought you some lip gloss and i was like yes <laughs> but you know what happened guys um I think i don't know oh i feel like oh, oh oh so um i told this guy listen so we're gonna date and whatnot but we have to like keep it in the wraps because i was like so scared of like my mom like like adults finding out so <clears throat> i don't know what happened it got around after the lip gloss situation i remember some girls coming through saying oh my god so you dating blah and these girls were like we lived in the same neighborhood so i was like oh my gosh what did these girls tell like their mom their mom tells my mom and so I broke up with the guy like two days later. <laughs> yeah, shame man. But yeah, I'd say my first ever boyfriend, like real boyfriend, was this guy actually in grade seven, guys. Yeah, I still talk to this guy actually today. He's also a chef. So if you ever see this, shout out. You know who you are. So um my first ever boyfriend, like serious, serious boyfriend, we um who like kissed and whatnot was like this guy in grade seven and this guy actually had a girlfriend guys oh man man like this guy had a girlfriend before me and actually asked me out and i dated this nigga things were great we'd meet up you know have those little corner appointments and i remember this other time i heard that hi boy your man's but he's been dating this girl called blah and it was a whole thing this girl was like trying to find me what up who are you <sighs> but yeah we broke up eventually so my stories Jay, dating stories are never good guys i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why but that was the first dating experiences yeah dating experiences that i, I basically had next question is first car um my first <laughs> tricky first car is basically um a chevy a chev um and it's an eastern cape basically <laughs> i haven't even driven my first car it's still chilling there in the garage um i basically got it from my grandmother when she passed and yeah it's still chilling there i haven't driven it but i'm making plans to go and get it don't worry by the end of this year actually i've been making plans actually i was supposed to go like sometime in um i think april because i wanted to go and get it before my birthday um coronavirus so yeah first cooking experience oh my gosh my first ever cooking experience 
guys i actually have two ne, that i remember vividly so the first one was when um i was like a small little kid and my mom had like a garden like she used to plant like veggies and whatnot because she was like super organic um so i remember this other time i went to a garden i picked the spinach and the herbs that she had i went to the fridge i remember taking chicken you know those like frozen pieces of chicken took the pieces of chicken and i went outside made a fake fire and i pretended to cook and i remember she came home like what the hell is going on and I was like, hey, I cooked dinner. And yeah, it's a funny story now, but I think it was pretty cute. My second um, cooking experience that I feel like I definitely need to tell you guys. Um, this is actually like pretty horrific. Like I remember um, going to Eastern Cape to Mtata to my great grandmother's house. And you know, Ilali guys, like there's chicken. So you get your eggs like from the chickens that are literally there so we used to get our chicken i mean our eggs from the chickens and whatnot and i remember getting an egg and i was like i was probably around seven seven and um i took like obviously my mom was there to help me out but she like took a chair for me to stand on and to like crack the egg into the pan as soon as i cracked the egg it was a dead like baby chicken <sighs> I just remember being so traumatized like I screamed literally threw myself off the chair and I just remember being so stressed out like I just saw like a dead and it was so disgusting guys it wasn't like cute and yellow it was like black brown <sighs> traumatizing anyway um, and I think I was actually like afraid of like chickens from then like I used to like literally run if I see a chicken run I know it's weird but hey um, <laughs> first ever crush first ever crush was this guy in grade 4 I remember I had the hugest crush on him before like my grade 4 man hit me up <laughs> which was a boy at the time so um, first ever crush I remember oh my gosh and I remember guys this guy actually beat me up not like beat me up but it was like a beating because I remember we were like me and my girls at the time we were like okay we're gonna tell our crushes that we like them and you know hopefully we'll like be their girls and I remember my classmates just randomly went to my crush and told me oh my god this girl likes you and whatnot did my crush not come to me at break and punch me in the stomach like no joke guys literally like punch me in the stomach because you know like in the olden days they used to actually do this thing where if a boy likes you they will come and beat you up and whatnot like that's actually rubbish now that you think about it because those 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 boys become abusers because they think violence is okay that's how you show love to a girl so i don't know hopefully that guy's not an abuser now but <laughs> a guy literally punched me in the stomach can you believe it for liking him ah first ever cell phone first ever cell phone was an alcatel i don't know if you guys remember but there were these phones called alcatel and my mom basically wanted in um a race in a marathon like she used to work for old mutual in cape town so there was an old mutual um race that happened or a race that old mutual was sponsoring and alcatel was one of the sponsors so she got phones there and she literally gave me the phone i was so excited i remember i think it was in grade one and oh i used to call my girl see <laughs> like we, have, we had like three people in the grade that had phones because obviously you're too young to have a phone and i used to like just call those people hey good night and that would be it but yeah my first phone was an alcatel um <clears throat> next question first ever date my first ever date was probably in matric Sure. in matric guys imagine so in matric that's basically when okay so i used to date this guy from like grade 11 to matric so that was basically the only like serious serious relationship that i had in high school so that was the only guy who took me like on dates and whatnot and i remember we went to this other restaurant in queenstown in eastern cape and that was the first time i had couscous 
mention. So I'd always seen in the movies, you know, people ordering couscous and whatnot and dates. So on dates, so I was like, <laughs> if I ever go on a date, I'm ordering the most exotic thing there, so that obviously to try new things. Um, so yeah, I remember I ordered couscous, and yeah, that was my first date. Um, oh, and it was a place called the Gallery in Queenstown. Nice food. I still remember that the food was pretty nice. <laughs> Um, my first ever kiss. Ah, my first ever kiss was in grade seven with that guy that I told you about just now. My first boyfriend, um, the guy who basically had another girl. Um, that was like my first kiss, real kiss. You know what I mean? Like romantic, slow kiss. <laughs> yeah. So that was my first kiss. I was in grade seven, and it was not bad at all. Like I said, like guys. I was in love with this guy like I was like oh my god my first boyfriend so when we kissed we used to have these little oh so this guy used to stay like in my hood but um, like three blocks away so he, we used to call each other and be like oh let's meet here pretend like you're going to the shop <laughs> I would always pretend like hey mom I'm going to the shop and she'll be like cool because my mom was pretty chill but she was strict but she was like pretty chill so I think because she would never like expect anything from me so she'd be like okay cool go to the shop and i'd go meet up with my boo like those are the time when i was going to buy bread she pulled he pulled up with the silk shirt guys yo i was, remember thinking silk <laughs> silk i was like this nigga is like a level speed so yeah that was my first kiss. um first ever friend in college um, I didn't really have much new friends in college because um, I was like friends with the girl that I came from high school with and so that was really my friend and another girl who was like a grade higher than me, Songi, shout out to my girl. Um, so I used to just be friends with those girls so I'd say the only new person, like the only new friend that I had in college was Gigi who's a rapper right now. <laughs> Shout out to her and yeah that's literally the only like new friend that i had in college and i still talk to today who's still my girl and yeah that's basically it next question first heartbreak Ooh -wee. oh my gosh guys i remember my first heartbreak it was in grade 10. i remember this specifically so i dated this guy I had a crush on this guy and he had a crush on me we finally dated and you know how dating in high school like it wasn't like serious it wasn't like real dating you know what i mean it was like dating in jail like fun levels kissing here and there but this guy we were pretty like you know serious so dated man for like six months i thought oh my god he's the one i specifically remember telling my friends one day we were walking out of school and they were talking about oh my gosh what if your man cheats on you and i was specifically saying never not my man you know beating your chest beating your chest saying <laughs> not my man like everybody else you guys maybe your boys could cheat on you my man would never and i remember my friends looking at me like dude never say never you never know men and i was like i know man but this one is different you know that chat guys and you just clown 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 and <laughs> flames that i saw so i remember being at his place oh because this guy it eh, was like the only guy who had like his own place because he was in matric i was like in grade 10 and he his parents lived like out of town and whatnot so it, they they got him like a little like place to stay like a little apartment it's close to the school so i went to go visit him this one time and i things are amazing things are great and i went to the guy's home guys you know when they say that if you go through a man's phone you will see what you will get what you're looking for like you will find it <laughs> boy did i find more and more and more and more way than i even thought like this guy had girls here he had a chat where he was saying to this girl oh happy and happy one year anniversary to this one he was talking to his ex which we went to the same high school um and this ex was like a grade higher than me so she literally tried to bully, bully me the whole freaking year because of this man <sighs> 
So yeah, I remember just getting the deepest chest pains and he came and I was like, what is this? And we broke up. I remember just going home like, wow. I remember it was even raining, guys. <laughs> it was raining. I was crying. The chest pains were lit. And I remember just before I got to my house, I, I saw his friend. Like I met up with like his, not met up, but I bumped into his best friend. And he was like, oh my God, hey, how are you? How are you guys? I was just like, hey, we're good, we're good. I couldn't, like, I didn't have the guts to say, hey, I just busted this nigga cheating with like five girls. And and he probably knew that busted, he probably knew. So I was just like, oh, we're good, we're good. And I went home and I slept. I even think my mom saw, but hey, girl is going through <laughs> a lot. She left me that night. She was like, listen, I'll cook, I'll make dinner. Cause she could see, but <clears throat> baby girl is not okay. <laughs> Ah, man, guys, I've been <sighs> through it all. Next question. My first ever sexual experience. <sighs> I knew this question was going to come through. My first ever sexual experience. Actually, guys, I feel like I was peer pressured. Not by the guy or anything, but like my friends, like my two best friends at the time. I think this was about grade 11 or grade 11. Grade 11 or so, I think. Um, they were like having sex with their men because they were like in long term long term relationships um, with these guys and they were basically having sexual intercourse with their men so uh, uh, let me not say men they boys because everybody was still in high school so <clears throat> I remember there was a song number one by Kerry Helson and the other guy that we won't mention his name and this song basically <laughs> was called number one and it was basically like a very sexual song and it used to, there was a line there that basically said um you know sex so good you pit you you, you pit hmm. you pat yourself <laughs> on the back and so they used to literally sing this line all the time whenever this line came through they're patting their backs and they're looking and be like ah ha ha you virgin so I basically was like, you know, what am I waiting for? You know, I was always that girl that was like, I'm gonna wait for marriage. I'm gonna wait for marriage. Sure. And yeah. So, but you know what, guys? I don't regret my first sexual experience. It was a guy that was basically my high school sweetheart, literally. Um, so I don't regret the person that I had sex with, the timing. I remember it was on Valentine's Day. Um, we had this thing called like the V dance that I'm sure every like school has, where it's like a V Valentine's ball or whatnot. So we had that, and he was my date. And after the date, you know, after the ball shit, things happened. Things happened, but I never regretted it. Even today, looking back, like. That guy was such a good guy. He was like my high school sweetheart. So never regretted it. <laughs> I'm not one of those girls that were crying because you know things happened. Nope. Um, next question. First tattoos. I actually have no tattoos. Um, I'm still gonna get my first tattoo and I'll definitely vlog it for you guys. I actually met someone during the weekend from my friend. Um, he's a tattoo artist, so definitely getting one soon. And disclaimer, I want all my tattoos in Kosa. I know it's pretty weird, but um, I've got some pretty dope ideas for my tattoos and I all want them in my home language. <clears throat> first concert I ever went to, first concert I ever went to, um, I'll probably okay. I'm guessing first international concert I went to would be Chris Brown, and yeah, that was awesome. You know, got the best tickets. Actually, we didn't even pay, but got the best tickets, um, best view, VVIP, free alcohol, free food, um, free food. So literally enjoyed the whole experience it was basically Chris Bond in August when they came through to Johannesburg that was my first like real concert experience yeah and oh first thing you do every morning first thing I do every morning is pretty much pray um, I pray and then check my phone check my phone and then 
probably go and have some green tea. That's all I've been drinking, green tea, because I'm trying to lose weight. So wake up, pray, check my takes, green tea. And first time you got drunk, oh my goodness. First time I got drunk was with my girl, seeing to all the way in Eastern Cape back in, back in high school. Um, we were basically, I think in grade eight or so, and there was this other place, um, it's like party place, it was like, club, not really a club, but, but it was the only like place where people gathered and like chilled and whatnot. And we used to go there, hit up um, our friends, be like, listen, we're going. So this one particular <laughs> Saturday, I'm guessing, we went to a men's, it was called men's and we drank he found you i remember that was the first time we got drunk i think he found you is like cider i don't think it's beer because there's no way i would have drank beer um so we drank these ciders that was the first time we got drunk and i oh my gosh i remember we had lied to our parents saying that we're going to shop for um a v-ball situation um the v, like those valentine's dance um situation and we're gonna go get like jewelry and like and yeah going to get like stuff for v dance so <laughs> me and my girl Sindhu we got so drunk I remember like I know this is gonna sound like made up but I remember my mom calling me saying listen I'm coming back home pretty late please take out the chicken and make the food like make dinner we got back and I passed out I remember my mom being woken up by my mom like at 8 p.m. saying what the hell like everything is dark she actually thought that I wasn't home because I didn't switch on the lights the curtains were just wide open because I had been sleeping the whole time oh my gosh and I remember she was like what are you drunk what's happening this is the only time um you've ever done this or are you drunk and i was like no no i'm not drunk and she was like we're going to cindy's house because my mom and like um cindy's parents my best friend's um parents at the time in high school she, they were like super close so um she was like we're going to their place and i'm fighting you guys hey <laughs> So I'm panicking, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm probably gonna get there and we're gonna be like exposed that we were drunk. So I'm trying to like text Cindy to tell her, listen, babes, this is a problem. We've been caught just saying we were doing this, this and this and this. And let's make sure that our story is the same. Cause that was like my main concern that we are saying the same thing. Cause she was like, what, where were you guys? And I was like, no, we went here and here, we did this. So. Of course we didn't do any of that and i was just trying to make sure that sindhu has the exact same story that i have <laughs> and yeah i was trying to text her the whole time we get to her house candy this girl has also passed out guys this girl has also passed out <laughs> and i remember um luckily she had just woken up um when we just got there and she saw my text so when my mom was coming through saying hey um this is what's happening um we to like I want to find out what your story is. She said the exact same thing that I said on the SMS. So my mom, fortunately, still doesn't know her. she's paused now. But yeah, so that was my first like drunk experience. Um, now that I think about it, it was pretty fun. Um, first time you got fired. Ooh wee! <laughs> hey guys, this is actually gonna be a young story time let me give i know there's been a, like snippets of like story times but this one is pretty juicy so i was like you know what i'm gonna leave this question um until the end until the end of this video so i can give you guys a young story time so this story time that's why i actually even got this baby right here <laughs> so this story time um is based when what years i think it was 2015 yeah this was in 2015 um i was working at the time so i got this job um okay so i was working at harem at the time ne? but i would always have like more than one job ne? ever since i was like in school i would always have like two or three jobs that i was doing that were like 
paying me so um, I was getting money at Harem and I was like you know what this is not enough so let me get another job so this job was basically um, a production assistant for a production company and they had been famous for doing like reality shows at the time they were doing Janelle's diary they had done the reps and whatnot and this was like a contract so it wasn't like a full-time job it was like um, a three-month contract so <clears throat> by the way this is the first and like last time I had ever gotten fired guys so I, I just went through the most so basically I had this girl um, that I was working with there was a team of people that I was working with but there was a main girl that I was working with I'm gonna call her sweetie because she was just so sweet and she was basically like the production manager of the whole thing and I was assisting her so sweetie had a boyfriend that she was living with right and at the time I was dating this man you know um, things were great things were amazing you know from my side anyway and <clears throat> so so basically sweetie's man and my man shared the same birthday right the same exact date so we were talking one day she was like oh my gosh you know my man's birthday is coming up i'm like what my man's birthday is coming up you know and then we figured out oh my gosh it's the same day so now this is like known in the office so wait a minute guys so now there's this girl um who is like sweetie's friend but she was like in the finance department of the company but obviously it's like one floor and whatnot so we'd see her and whatnot and um this girl <laughs> I'm gonna call her spicy because she was so spicy I could just tell that this girl didn't like me from day one she was okay so sweetie and spicy were like white they were white girls and <clears throat> she could see like spicy could see that I'm pretty like close or like getting close or like having like a proper like friendship with um, sweetie so I think she was a bit jealous but anyway back to the story so we are planning so okay we found out that our boyfriends share the same birthday probably like two weeks before the birthday so now we are planning things like oh my gosh what are you gonna do for the man what are you gonna do for your man and we're looking at like shoes and looking at, like you know just a whole lot of things that we can buy or like do for our men <sighs> disclaimer guys never buy a man shoes you know what that's saying that says if you buy a man shoes they will use those shoes to walk out of you. That is true, my sister. Listen to that saying. Trust me, I proved it. And I was like, this is the first and last time I will ever buy a man's shoes. Anyway, back to the story. <laughs> so, sweetie had a contact. She was like, listen, this guy sells shoes. And um, these shoes are like sneakers and whatnot. And men's had like a whole love for like sneakers he wanted sneakers and whatnot so yeah okay with my last money guys, my last 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 money i actually bought this guy like really expensive shoes that he's been like talking about and whatnot so i, I, I bought those shoes i bought him like jewelry i think i bought him like, a necklace and a ring and yeah so the day comes so <clears throat> the birthdays were on a thursday and it was on a thursday so <laughs> on thursday um, um afternoon i leave the office i'm like bye guys you know i'm saying bye to sweetie because you know she's gonna go surprise her man i'm gonna go surprise my man and oh by the way so so the birthday is on thursdays right they, they they fall on a thursday and so i had a surprise birthday party for my man on the saturday right because obviously i was going to work and whatnot so i wanted like a comfortable day where you know he'd have like a proper birthday like a surprise birthday thing and so okay it's thursday <laughs> thursday i bought the sneakers i bought like the everything the present degree so they, he had like another party party situation that he was going to at kantari if you guys know you know kantari you know you know the situation and guys I went to Kentari and <sighs> did the man's not have another girl there like <sighs> I 
you know? <laughs> Ooh. I'm a daughter. So yeah, men's had another girl day, guys. And I was like, what the hell? What's happening? He was like, oh my god, no. I'll explain later. I'm like, what? Long story short, we had basically broken up because I was not going to go back to him after that. And yeah, so I go back to work the next day. Hey, now I'm chest painting, guys. Now I'm chest painting things up bed. Everyone in the office, oh my god, you know, how did it go? Because now everybody knows that, you know, me and Sweetie share the same birthday. Sweetie's coming through, they're saying a story. Hey, it was so amazing we did this. There was a dinner, you know. She's just going off about her romantic story. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And now people now come to me. They're like, oh, and you? You know, what happened with yours? The only thing I could say was basically like, oh no, it went amazing, guys. We enjoyed ourselves because I was so embarrassed. Like, I was too embarrassed to say that actually this guy has been cheating on me basically the whole time. And hey, <laughs> guys. So I remember that was a Friday, right? And then hey, after that, things were just bad. I was chest painting, chest painting, chest painting, chest painting. So I remember the Sunday I was just drinking 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 literally that's all you can do and yeah I just drank and drank and drank and drank and drank and drank guys <laughs> I didn't make it to the office for like three days um, and I remember spicy calling me saying guys I remember being woken up by the call at like 11 a.m. I looked at my phone and I'm like oh my goodness like how how am i doing this and i had like the best job guys i basically used to like be a production assistant for a show on sabc3 it was called club culture and it was hosted by dj fresh and euphonic and my job was basically to find like the hottest party we'd go and we'd shoot with the camera guy and yeah document the whole thing it was a whole <sighs> a whole season but you know what i'm glad that my chest pain happened like near the end of my contract remember it was a, a three month um contract so i got my chest pain and i basically didn't wake it to work for like three days because i was drunk and <laughs> i remember spicy calling me saying hey um we're just gonna have to let you go because you know even three days of work and i was just like oh my god and i remember that was another chest pain like i just lost my job because of this man Whew, guys, that chest pain I'll never forget. And yeah, guys, that's basically <laughs> how I got fired. Like, I got fired because I was chest painting, I didn't go to work, and yeah, I lost my job. And I actually enjoyed my job. <sighs> but yeah, man, stuff happens. So, thank you so much for tuning in. That is the end of my first time tag. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment down below on what you think, and do subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Dumi Chikita. Until next time, bye.